So we are here with Mary Jo Peel from Cinematic Titanic. Uh, thank you for joining us. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, we're going to start with a pretty basic question. And how did you get involved with Mystery Science Theater 3000? And how did it ultimately roll over to become Cinematic Titanic? And could you explain, I guess, what both of those are for the uninitiated? Okay, well, Mystery Science Theater is uh, a TV show that we made fun of old bad movies, and you might recognize it yes. by the silhouettes. Well, you know, we, we know, but we yeah, want it. But our, our viewing <laughs> yes, audience. Our viewing audience. That's how you would recognize it, and we would, uh, we the, the three characters would quip yes. on the movie. And uh, Cinematic Titanic, Titanic is basically the same format, only we do it live. And how I got involved with Mystery Science Theater is um, I knew everyone doing the show f from doing stand-up uh -huh. comedy and they got picked up by Comedy Central and they needed another writer and they asked me to come audition wow. and, Fantastic. and then I stayed and I never told them I was there. So. And Cinematic Titanic? That, uh, Joel called me about four years ago and wanted to have lunch with him and Frank and I didn't know what was afoot but he had been talking about reinvigorating the concept with uh, with Frank and Trace and asked me if I'd be interested and of course I said yes you know they're funny smart people who doesn't want to work with funny smart people that's probably a good key to success in yeah that, I think. <laughs> right, right hitch my wagon to somebody else's star <laughs> And uh, so how does the live atmosphere of Cinematic Titanic compare with uh, riffing on stage with Mystery Science Theater? Well, um, in Mystery Science Theater, we, we did it in a studio, and so you're not going to get any feedback. Um, we all have our background in stand-up comedy, so when we do it live, we really dig and play off that live energy, people responding to it and laughing. So it becomes sort of a three-way dialogue, and we since our roots are you know, doing stand-up comedy, we just naturally respond to that. And it's a great energy, and everybody has fun, and we love that. Uh, just a quick question about that. Um, you talk about live versus um, filmed. Filming Mystery Science 3000, how, how did you know, like, if you were on to something, you know? It's, you, you have sort of no feedback before that, so you're just hoping that it's funny or did you you know how did how did you refine that sort of process of um creating the commentaries that would work for people you know well our starting point was if we made somebody else in the writing room laugh that was kind of our starting point we knew that other people watching the show would laugh um and then we'd go through the movie several times and if we felt a joke wasn't working or it was too harsh okay. we'd winnow it out but invariably People would always respond to a joke, mm -hmm. even one person. And we had 600 jokes in a script, so there's something there for everybody, we like to think. Okay, so we don't want to pigeonhole you. You're definitely more than just Mystery Science Theater 3000 and Cinematic Titanic. What else can we expect from you? What else... Um have you done that we might want to highlight? Um, what, what? Oh, you're so sweet. Um, well, I should have a book coming out this fall. Oh. And... Um, a book about what? Uh, it's a c compilation of essays. Oh, and, you know, I'm oh. doing something else, and I can't remember what it is. So I'll, <laughs> I'll have to get back to it. Is there a website we could go to to find information about Yeah, that? well, you know what? My website's being redone. So soon. <laughs> MaryJoePeel.com. Coming soon to a computer near you. <laughs> Great, and you've also uh, been a contributor to NPR. Can you tell mm -hmm. us about the segments that you've done there? Yeah, it's been a while uh, since I've contributed. I just haven't had time, but uh, I, I've done sort of a reworking of some of my essays for NPR, okay. and that's been that's been great fun. All right. Well, thank you so much Thanks for you joining guys. us. Yes, thank you're welcome. You. Thank you. Pleasure.